In this video, I'm going to give you a quick architecture overview that hopefully helps you understand what is a Firefly application and the underlying architecture that allows developers to build a Firefly app. There are two types of Firefly applications that you can build. Heffel applications in the form of a single page application and headless applications. Now we're going to start with single page applications. Before we do dive in, I'd like to take a refresher on the terminology Jamstack, which stands for JavaScript, APIs, and Markup. This is a strong trend in the industry because it really removes the need for a tightly coupled web server and app server in traditional web architecture. Instead, the focus shifts to a client plus services model where the static asset is served directly from a CDN and the JavaScript, when needed, interacts with services directly from the client via APIs. This model really lends itself well to Project Firefly. With Jamstack, you can easily integrate with any existing service APIs out there. This can be an Adobe product API or any third-party APIs. But let's say you need a tailored piece of backend functionality that doesn't have an out-of-the-box API. Project Firefly provides you with Adobe Serverless Platform, a Adobe IO runtime that allows you to build any service you need on our infrastructure. Now, let's see how this is accomplished during build and test. During development, you have your code for the front end and the back end within one project. However, when you're ready to build and to test the functionalities, your front end code and your back end code actually gets compiled and built separately. The backend code is compiled into node applications. These then get deployed into Adobe IO runtime as actions. The front-end code is compiled into static pages and assets. Any references in there you might have to the backend services is now updated to point to the deployed actions inside runtime. The compiled HTML, CSS, and JavaScript can then be deployed into our hosted CDN. I've not forgotten about headless applications. They're really not that different. Take the exact same architecture, simply remove the CDN part. You can use the same framework to create microservices in runtime. There are many advantages to this architecture. We'll see better performance with static files served through a CDN. By abstracting server-side processes into microservice APIs, the surface areas for attacks are reduced. This provides higher security. Scaling becomes much easier, both with serving the static files on the CDN and with the microservices built on Adobe IO runtime. Last but not least, this loose coupling and separation of control are hopefully gonna make your development team happier as they can now focus on individual pieces for development without having to worry about bringing the whole system down. While we're talking about development, let me take the opportunity to give you a high-level survey on the developer tools, services, and libraries that you can use. First and foremost, the Adobe IO CLI will likely be the main touch point for Project Firefly developers on their local environments. The CLI allows you to log in with your Adobe ID to interact with the developer console to retrieve credentials, to kickstart development with sample code and project scaffolding, and to build, to test, and to deploy your application when it's ready. It is also connected with a debugger to help you debug serverless actions. There's a number of libraries that can help your development as well. Apart from any existing NPMs for third-party services, we also have prepared SDKs for Adobe Experience Cloud APIs, Adobe Experience Platform APIs, for authentication, for connecting with other underlying services, such as storing data and file, and for building UI components in Adobe Spectrum design language. Next, let's talk services. We recognize that you might have authentication needs as well as data and file storage needs for your Firefly application. Therefore, we provide some out-of-the-box support for you where you can easily connect to these services in your runtime actions. Of course, you're always welcome to bring your own as well. We also provide a new feature called Custom Events. Essentially, Custom Events lets you bring your own event provider on board, which then allows you to emit and to consume events from your application. 
Lastly, to help you quickly set up a CI-CD pipeline, we built a sample CI-CD workflow on top of GitHub Actions. You'll be able to easily customize these sample GitHub Actions to set up your own CI-CD pipeline. With all these tools and services, we hope to make your developer experience while working with Project Firefly as easy and as smooth as possible. You can learn more about Project Firefly through the Adobe Developer website.